Hey everybody, what's up? It's Joel, aka The Daily Guru, and it's time for another edition of Something Old, Something New. Today for Something Old, we're gonna check out one of my all-time favorite albums. It's a record I can't live without. It's 1982 and Bruce Springsteen's classic, Nebraska. When it comes to The Boss, you can argue a number of his records as his finest achievement, but Nebraska holds a very special place as it's one of the most raw and outright beautiful records ever recorded. By the time Nebraska was released, Bruce Springsteen had already made a name for himself enough that this could be considered a very highly anticipated release, but at the same time, there's no way the world could have been ready for what he had in store. Nebraska is actually 10 tracks featuring little more than Springsteen a guitar, and a harmonica, and they were recorded on a four-track recorder at Springsteen's house because they were originally only supposed to be demos. However, after the songs were recorded with the full E Street Band, Springsteen, the producers, and the engineers all agreed that the tone of the original recordings was far superior. The themes all across this record are very dark and intimate, but there are few records in history that pull you in as quickly or as deeply as Nebraska. In many ways, this album shows just how much power you can get across by using very little volume, as well as showing the clear connection between the country and folk sounds and rock and roll. While it's far from the norm within the Springsteen catalog, few can argue that it's anything short of stunning. Nebraska is a dark, gorgeous musical experience, and if somehow you've never heard it, get on that right now. Thank me later. Today for something new, we're gonna check out the brand new release from Red Cross, and it's called Researching the Blues. This is the band's first record in almost 15 years, as they found themselves on a decade-long hiatus following the sudden death of their guitarist. But to tell you the truth, this was well worth the wait, as this is one of the best albums I've heard in years, whether it be from a new band or an old band. From the moment this record begins, there's an amazing balance between this crunching, hard rock sound and a pop appeal that is almost unfathomable. The vocals are amazingly strong and clear throughout the record, and and most of these choruses are outright anthemic. There's an energy to these songs that is far beyond bands half their age, and you can quickly hear how almost every one of these songs will absolutely explode in a live setting. The entire record brings to mind that point in history where music was all about being raw and organic in your sound, and yet there's a thoroughly modern feel throughout that gives an amazing tone all its own. Whether it's the perfectly toned guitars, the way that the cymbals seem to just crash across every single track, or the way that the band moves as a strong single unit, this record is a fantastic and outright refreshing musical experience that fans from all musical genres will enjoy. And on the Buy It or Borrow It, this one's simple. The brand new album from Red Cross is a 100% buy it. Now. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you dug it. If you did, go ahead and click subscribe, leave a comment, or click like, whatever you want to do. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr right here, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Whoa!